Sensory integration therapy helps children learn to use all their senses together and improve challenging or repetitive behavior. Do you know we have eight senses instead of five? Some of them are foundational senses and others are functional senses. What are those? Watch the video. Hello parents. Today I am going to discuss about our major sensory system. For children with developmental problems, sensory processing requires efforts and concentration or can be an overwhelming experience. Due to that, many challenging behaviors appear. Prior to work on that, we should have basic knowledge about our sensory system. So let's start. Broadly, they are categorized in two types. Each of them have four different senses. The foundational senses. Our foundational or proximal sensory system give us information about our body and are some of the earliest to begin developing in utero. The functional senses. Our functional or distal sensory system give us information about the world around us. The tactile system or sense of touch. Located in our skin, touch receptors provide information about the world and specifically the shape, size and texture of objects. It helps us to understand the important sensation of pressure, texture, hot and cold and pain. This includes light touch and firm touch and textures from dry to wet and messy. So our skin is our body boundary and helps us understand our surroundings to feel safe or alert us to danger and to bond with loved ones. Some of the issues related to this system are avoid messy hands and face or just a mess in general. Unaware of pain or if hands or face are messy. Vestibular system or sense of head position and movement. Located in our inner ear, our vestibular system provides information about movement, balance, and our relationship to gravity. It lets us know if we are right side up or upside down. It also communicates if we are moving or still, as well as how quickly and in what direction we are moving. Vestibular input contributes to our sense of body position in space, posture and muscle tone. The maintenance of a stable visual field, bilateral coordination, and a sense of equilibrium. Some of the issues related to this system are high difficulty standing still is constantly moving, movement intolerance, uncomfortable with fast movement or spinning. Proprioceptive system or sense of joints and muscle activation. Located within each of our muscles and joints, our proprioceptive system provides information about where our body is in space and controls force and pressure. It helps us to feel grounded and know where we are and what we are doing. It gives information about the weight and resistance of object, muscle relaxation, muscle contraction, stretch, and other movements of our body. So this system provides us the sense of joint awareness and body awareness. Some of the issues related to this system are may push, hit, bite, or bang into other children. Avoid or crave jumping, crashing, 
पुशिंग पुलिंग बॉन्सिंग और हैंगिंग इंटेरोसेप्टिव सिस्टम और इंटरनल सेंसेशन विथ रिसेप्टर्स इन इच ऑफ आवर इंटरनल ऑर्गन आवर इंटेरोसेप्टिव सिस्टम प्रोवाइड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट आवर बॉडीली फंक्शन एंड इज लिंक्ड विथ हाउ यू फील इमोशन इट गिव्स अस द एबिलिटी टू फील व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इनसाइड आवर बॉडी इट प्लेज ए रोल इन इन्फ्लुएंसिंग इमोशंस एंड सेंस ऑफ वेलबींग एंड डिटेक्ट चेंजेस इन आवर इंटरनल स्टेट दिस इंक्लूड हंगर एंड फुलनेस थर्स्ट body temperature heart and breathing rate social touch muscle tension itch nausea sleepiness and more some of the issues related to this system are difficulty with toileting bed wetting or accident difficulty regulating emotions and feelings auditory system or sense of hearing located within our middle ear our auditory system gives us information about what we hear it also allows us to filter out sounds that we do not need this includes hearing listening interpreting and localizing sounds auditory middle and inner ear along with auditory nervous system work together to process sounds some of the issues related to this system are sensitive to loud sudden sounds or distracted by background noise often seems to ignore parents or teacher visual system or sense of vision located within our eyes our visual system gives us information about what we see our sense of sight gives us visual cues and allows us to discriminate objects and people a typical person is able to use a smooth and precise eye movement to scan and visually assess their environment they take in rays of light that create tiny picture on the back of our eyeball our brain interprets the signal it receives from the eyeball and tells us what we are looking at some of the issue related to this system are sensitive to sunlight or fluorescent light skips words or lines or loses their place while reading the sensory system or sense of taste located within our mouth our gustatory system gives us information about what we taste they are clustered in the mouth tongue and throat we taste using this cell along with the gustatory cortex located in the brain and several cranial nerves through this we receive five basic tastes salty sweet bitter sour and umami or savory some of the issues related to this system are sensitive to brushing or food textures mouthing non food objects or exploring textures such as chewing on pencil or clothing all factory system or sense of smell located within our nose our all factory system gives us information about what we smell they pass that information along a channel of nerve to the brain it does more than just smell the roses the it influences and closely connected to our sense of taste and it is tied directly to emotional memory in our brain some of the issues related to this system are explores objects by smelling avoids foods 
that most children of their age enjoy. Now I think you have basic knowledge about major sensory systems which can be used to understand sensory processing disorder. Thank you.